Hi bosses, my name is Leah and welcome to the Boss and Maze channel. I am a boss registered medical assistant along with a lot of other titles. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you're going to want to. And if you're returning, welcome back boss. It's nice to see you. I have some more good information for you. Always trying to keep you bossed up. So with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this video guys because I really need y'all to know being a medical assistant is not for the week. I don't care what they tell you. I don't care what you've heard at the schools that, you know, try to recruit you. Being a medical assistant is not easy and it's not for the week. And the crazy part about it is I'm not even really talking about like the skill sets. Like I'm not talking about taking blood pressures or injections. I'm talking about the actual role itself and the things that come with the role. So with that being said, let's talk about some of those things and why this role can be challenging. And you may want to reconsider if this is your forever career. So number one is, are you okay with repetition? Sis, sir, are you okay with doing the same thing over and over and over, day in and day out? Because your role as a medical assistant is just that. Um, this was the thing that took me out, that drove me nuts is why I knew this was not going to be my forever career because I cannot go, like I would go to the doctor's office and literally once you work with that doctor's office, you're doing the same thing day in and day out. And because it's not an ED, it's less excitement. So you're working in more of a controlled clinic environment. So it's only so many things that can go on, right? So you're performing the same task. You're doing the same thing. And I know this can be the case with like, any job but i just found it very specific with this role because i felt old y'all i graduated and i felt old when i started working everybody was older than me everybody had like full-on families like it was one of those getting here and sit down careers like i felt trapped and stuck right away and i hated it so ask yourself are you okay with doing the same thing now if vice versa if that's your goal if that's what your role is right now in your life and you're like actually i just want to you know make some extra cash i don't I'm, I'm okay with routine and repetition then you may absolutely love this this may be for you but for me that was a mm -mm, that was a deal breaker so number two is you will be and this is guaranteed you will be overworked and underpaid that's just the name of the game again this can be said for other careers but specifically as a medical assistant it's like they want to pull and pinch as much out of you as possible and not you know give you what you're worth um i, I for example i've been in a clinic where it was a lot of accolades i'm sorry y'all i gotta put my hair up because this is gonna drive me nuts but i was um in a clinic where they had this woman and she had been there for years like she was super super tenured you know she knew everything you know that go-to person in the office great at what she did and they would you know praise her and give her accolades but that was it like there was no real promotion there was nothing it was just like yes you get a gold star for working super hard and being the hardest worker in the room but that was it and i was like wow that's how they show their value and appreciation is by giving her more work and more overload yeah like no that was a huge turn off for me um and and they don't value you as a medical assistant because those schools are graduating all the time some people take online certification programs like there are no prerequisites hardly if any i mean they, they are a dime a dozen so it's not competitive for them to care enough about if you stay or if you're happy they don't care they will legitimately replace you easily with no problem because somebody's going to walk in and take that job so it's just it sucks feeling like a number even when you're doing your best and you know that you are bringing value to this practice or company but you're just another number to them i'm sorry you're going to be overworked and underpaid it's it's inevitable which brings me to number three you're not going to get paid your pay i think i've seen i've seen a wide range and i know that there's a lot of variables in this and if you haven't already go ahead and get my book um it's on amazon negotiate like a boss but getting paid like i've seen people get paid as low as like 12 
10 to 12 dollars this was a few years ago i haven't looked now and all the way to like 25 dollars and so it's a broad range but it depends on where you live you know what's the specialty or practice and and how much they value their assistance and you know what your tenure uh, or expert level of expertise and things is so it's a lot of things to calculate in that but still you are more than likely not going to get the pay that you deserve it's very probable that you won't um because essentially this role has so many benefits for a business standpoint like they can have multiple uh medical assistants especially if they don't have an or or anything like that where an rn is needed they can pay you guys like one fourth or half of what they would have to pay one RN and get more for their bang for their buck, if that makes sense. So economically, from a business standpoint, it makes sense that they're not paying you. But from a personal standpoint, when you know that you are a great person, a great worker, and you're doing your best and putting forth so much because their return on investment is like, it's like buying something from China for 25 cents and selling it for $5. What they are paying you to do what you do may seem like, oh, it's minuscule. They're not paying me a lot. But the return that they're getting from those insurance claims, from all of those patients that you worked up, from those cash paying patients, all of that stuff, the way that you make the office run around, the return on investment is at a thousand so it goes back to kind of like number two you're not valued and it's very hard to find an employer who values the work of a medical assistant and shows that and not just ways of saying oh you're doing great but i mean actually shows that and pay and things like that so if you're okay with that maybe not getting paid close to what you feel like you should be getting paid then i mean this may not be a problem for me red flag red flag um so number four is advancement there is like zero zilch room for advancement this was an this is an allied health career and it was meant to be an adjunct career it was meant to be a supporting and assisting career so it was not built in mind that you would actually grow from this direct space like obviously you could go to nursing you could go to other fields or, or things like that but to actually have a track that grows from medical assistant up there is not one so your opportunity for growth is limited in this field very limited um and it's it's discouraging because it can feel like, you know, you want to grow, you've you've did some time and you've learned a lot and you want to get out of this box. But it's like people are going to continuously like push you. It's like crabs in a bucket, like you're trying to crawl out and people are going to push you into this box because essentially they don't really want you to come out of that box. If you come out of that box, then you're no longer a medical assistant you know you know you have more skill set and you have more certifications and or degrees and now you're going to be out of that role of medical assistant and they want to keep you there as much as possible so that they can get what they need to get out of the role and out of you so it's not really a lot of room for advancement and growth directly as a medical assistant so that again was a harsh reality and a red flag um and then the last thing at five is just it's a constant fight it's a constant fight and battle for you to get the pay the value the position that you know you deserve it i'm not telling you it's not possible because i have done it um i've done it in in more times than one and in different situations but you have to have those characteristics you have to be a persistent person who is willing to go through the fire for yourself you have to be your number one fan and advocate and market manager and all of that you know accountant you have to be all of that for yourself if you really want to find success in this role because it is not going to be handed to you it's not going to be offered to you it's not going to be on display you are going to have to really dig deep in yourself and in your resources to ensure that you're getting what you need out of this position so that constant fight if you're not up for that and you want to grow because again all of these things only apply if you have 
bigger ambition and you want to grow out of this role if you really just want to be a medical assistant which is absolutely nothing wrong with that that is still a great career but if you have um plans of advancement and growth and you think that it's going to be so powerful and it it's not it's not it's a very straightforward very bland role which is super fulfilling i definitely feel like it's a fulfilling role you're going to feel great every day about anytime you're in a role that's caregiving and helping you're going to feel great about your role great about your position but if you have ambition to grow and become more this role will give you those contact hours that maybe you're looking for it'll get your feet wet but it is not your final stop and the fight in this space can be a little bit tough if you're trying to grow from this space um trust me i know that's how i became the boss of me because i literally fought the good fight and now i'm sharing this stuff with you but guys it is not for the week so i just wanted to drop some things in you because guys y'all ask me all the time should i go to ma school what's the good thing about ma what's this what's that so i wanted to tell you guys some challenging things at that comes with being a medical assistant. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have something to add or you have a comment for me, go ahead and hit comment down below. And until next time, bosses, bye.